Hello, my name is Jack, and this is my YouTube channel. Words I will never say to anyone in real life, because as much as I enjoy making YouTube videos, there's also part of me that finds it a little bit embarrassing. The other day, whilst I was with family, this YouTube channel came up in conversation, and I all of a sudden felt incredibly uncomfortable. As I sat listening to my family talk about my thumbnails, I thought to myself, aha, there's something here that is causing me discomfort and must be unpacked. So let's unpack it. Now, I think first it's important to define what exactly it is we're talking about when we say embarrassment, because the dictionary definition, and when I say dictionary, I mean the internet, defines embarrassment as a feeling of self-consciousness, shame, or awkwardness. And I would agree with two out of three of those. I think embarrassment doesn't necessarily mean the same thing as shame. When we truly feel shame, I think it's when we really know that we've done something wrong. Our moral compass has gone askew. I don't think in the case of my YouTube channel, I'm ashamed of it. I mean, it's not like I'm making a YouTube channel about me not returning my grandmother's phone calls. But I would definitely give a big old check to the self-consciousness and the awkwardness. On this channel, I like to share my more intimate thoughts and feelings about the world and about my lived experience. And that's not something that I tend to do IRL. In real life, we tend to be more guarded and stick to the safety of small talk. How's the weather? How's your family? Did you see the price of potatoes in Sainsbury's? On this channel, we have a zero tolerance policy for small talk, medium talk at a minimum. There's certainly a bit of a protection about speaking to a camera rather than speaking to an actual person. I can't read your micro expressions. I don't know what you think of this, but if you are enjoying this so far, micro express a thumbs up. I recently heard this quote, the difference between an idiot and a genius is success. I don't know who said that, maybe it was in fact an idiot, but I think it's relevant in the case of YouTube because success on YouTube is very quantifiable. I'm constantly obsessed with the views, the subscribers, and everyone else can see that. At the moment, I wouldn't necessarily class my channel as a success. I've got some videos with views in the thousands, and that makes me quite proud and seems to evoke reactions in people like, oh, wow, good for you. But I've also got some videos with views in the tens, and that seems to bring out reactions like, have you thought about learning a trade? I hear there's a shortage of plumbers. Success will look differently for different people. Some people might create a YouTube channel as a hobby. Some people might want to be monetized like me. And some people might have their sights set on a future bout with Mike Tyson. No matter what our goals are, I think it's important to remember that with goals, the goalposts are always shifting. I think it's very inherent in the human condition that once we arrive at a destination, we look around and we go, yeah, okay. Where are we going next? Let's get Evander Holyfield on the phone. So if our embarrassment stems from our perceived lack of success, maybe there's some room to reflect on what exactly our terms of success are. When can you actually call yourself a YouTuber or a musician or an artist or a comedian? Is it when you're earning that sweet green cheddar? Or can we define our success by the fact that we're actually doing it? We've committed to something and we're seeing a project through to its end. I genuinely don't know and I'm constantly in oscillation about these things. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. How do you define your success? It's time to go a little bit deeper. When I feel awkward or embarrassed in certain social situations, it can often be possibly a projection. Projection is an unconscious defense mechanism. Apparently, we don't know what the hell we're doing, so our unconscious has to come and protect us sometimes. Projection is when we put our intolerable thoughts and feelings onto someone else because that's more palatable than realizing that it's actually what we think about ourselves. So when we feel embarrassed, it's usually because there's a sudden jolt of self-consciousness and we feel very seen and very exposed. And because we don't really know what people are thinking about us, we'll fill in the blanks. And if we're not a particularly confident person or we have a lot of self-doubt, we're gonna fill those blanks in with shit. So in the case of the YouTube channel, when I'm talking about it with people in real life, there's a little voice in my head that's saying, they don't really like it. They don't really watch it. They think it's a waste of time. They think you're some sort of delusional Peter Pan lost boy that needs to grow up. Maybe I think that they think that because actually there's a part of me that thinks that. <sighs> Delusion, it's not a good look. But like anything, we must try to be as aware as possible of these things and aware as to where they came from, from childhood traumas, early attachments, whatever. And we can also be as aware as possible of how they bleed into our social situations and how they can affect how we think and act in the world. And we mustn't let them stop us doing the things that we want to do. Or we'll just continue being utterly delusional till it all backfires in our stupid faces. But really, like anything, we must try and find the balance because I do enjoy making YouTube videos and I enjoy sharing my thoughts and I enjoy hearing people 
give me their thoughts back about the thoughts that I've said. So do please leave a comment if you have any thoughts. And I would love for this one day to provide an extra income for my family and I, but I must also maintain that that may never happen and I must not think about the destination, but just enjoy the journey, which isn't always easy, especially if you're stuck in traffic. I wanna unpack that with Jack. I'll be right back.